Mille dishwasher won't drain is what we're working on today and it's going to be really easy to fix. It's just a little part that's clogged up. It's usually due to a clog in this little thing called the one-way valve. It's very easy to fix. Sometimes food gets caught in there and then it has trouble. I'm going to get some of the water out of here though by making it drain as well as it can. I'm going to turn off the power. I'll press the power button again. And then I'm going to pick a new program. When you switch to a new program that's different from the last program it ran, and then you close the door, it'll activate the drain cycle and it should drain out all the water. So if you're not able to drain out any water, then you may have to bail it out. But this one is draining just maybe half as much water as it should. So I was just trying to get as much water out as I could. I can hear it kind of dribbling, but not pumping out the water as fast as it should. These Mila dishwasher uh, drain pumps are really good. I've never had to replace one. It's usually these problems are caused by a clog somewhere. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times. I'm gonna turn off the power, turn it back on, pick a new program, close the door, and just get out as much water as I can. I think I had to do this maybe four times to really get it to where there was no water left. You take out the lower basket, and then we're gonna take out the lower spray arm, just lift it up. Take out the triple filter, turn the handle, lift it up. And then this thing, the one-way valve on this model is located to the left here. I'm just gonna pinch in on it and pull it to my right toward the middle of the sump, and it'll come out at about a 45 degree angle. Just pull it right out. And you can look inside and see if there might be something caught. I can see already there's something in there. I should be seeing a silver ball bearing right there, silver color. But I can see a little bit of the silver here. But on this side, there's something in there. There's the ball bearing. But you should see it here too. So if you see that, sometimes you can just grab it right here and just pull it out. But if it doesn't come out readily, you may need to crack the case the two pieces of this one-way valve come apart. It's pretty easy to do. This is how you put it back in. You come in at an angle, push it in, take it out, just lift it up. And if you think there's no other way to do this, you can just pull these two pieces apart. You're not breaking it. They are designed to come apart. And then you can reach in and get rid of the obstruction. There's gonna be a black rubber seal that we can see here as I get this apart. And I wanna just reach in and pull that seal out. It's just in there by friction. And that's gonna allow me to clean up whatever this stuff is. So I'm pulling up on that seal, get that out. And yeah, it looks like a bunch of pistachio seeds got stuck in there. They got past the triple filter somehow. There's the ball bearing. So I'll go ahead and clean that out a little bit. I think it's just a few, a little bit more stuff caught in there. Then I can put the ball bearing back in and I can put the rubber gasket over that ball bearing. And then I can put the other uh, piece back together. It's just put in by friction. So if you, you can tell this hole of this gasket is pointed to the right and the opening of the one-way valve is pointed to my left. Okay, here comes the other half of it. I'm gonna line it up. And I'm just gonna grab it and pull the two ends together again. They're not really glued, they're just in there by friction. That little tab goes into that rubber opening. Squish them together really good. And then I'll go ahead and put it back in and that's probably gonna cure our problem. Sometimes there's stuff caught in the drain hose so you can take the drain hose off, put it in a bucket, and then that can often help. I'm gonna push that back in, put it in at an angle, and then I can go ahead and put the triple filter back in. I gotta make sure I lock it in, that's really important, by turning the handle. And I'm gonna turn off the power, turn it back on, pick a new cycle, and now when I close it, I've got, uh, I just wanted to test it to have it fully filled up again. I can tell that it's full because it's it's reaching the uh, bottom of the triple filter. So I'll try to drain it now. I'll turn it off. 
I'll turn it back on and then I'll pick a new cycle, new program. I'll close it and that should do the trick. It should get rid of all the, all the water. As soon as you close the door, it should activate it. Now there's a different sound. I can hear it really gurgling a much faster and that's telling me that it's doing what it should. Again, those Mila drain motors are really good. Never had to replace one. So usually you're gonna be dealing with some kind of an obstruction. Yep, all the water's gone, just like it should. I'm gonna put it back together. Put the basket back in and we are done. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our video today. I hope that this video has saved you some time and money. And if so, could you please press down in the video description below the donation link and send us a donation so we can keep this service going. Thanks again. And if you have any questions about this repair, could you contact me at scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.